Hey guys. Oh god, what now? Listen up everybody. We're gonna play a game today. Here we go. Thank you. One for you. There we go. Each and every one of you guys has your own honeycomb. This is just a tortilla. Can you just shut up and play along please? Anyways. Everybody has a honey crisp. The name of the game, you have to take a needle. Forget it, never mind. Screw this. If you like our channel, please subscribe and set yourself up for notifications so you'll never miss any brand new videos. Hey guys, Dr. Ben, Healthy Feet Podiatry. We got a cool case today. I've been doing this close to 10 years now, and it's not something we see every day. We want to make sure we rule it out before we get too crazy and you know do any procedures, so we're going to perform a biopsy today of the nail. See, you see here, there's the pigmented streaking that we normally see in the textbooks you read about in the textbooks. But you know, I don't want to get ahead of myself just yet. Let's get a biopsy going. So we have to numb them up. I already talked to the patient, you know. It's a possibility, but again, doing this close to 10 years, I've only seen it one other time. So let's hope it's not. Are you okay, Ann? Yeah. Okay. One more. Does it hurt? Not too bad, right? <laughs> you can handle it. Okay. And we'll talk about the, you know, things to look for when it comes to melanoma or any other uh, cancers in the foot. There's definitely a, uh, some signs to look for. Well, you know, like I said, we'll go over all that while we're working on him. But first, let's get him numbed up. But... Okay, took him a little bit, but he's nice and numb now. Again, we're always concerned for, you know, a cancer. You know, we've talked to him about it already. And that's why we're doing this. Anytime you see a nice big streak going up down your toenail like this, looks like somebody took a Sharpie and just literally drew a line right down the middle. You're a little concerned, especially when it's uh, not something you see every day. Okay, so we're going to remove the nail. We're going to send the nail out too. And we're going to test the skin underneath the nail. Hope it's nothing bad. So this is called a Hutchinson sign. It's one of those things you don't see often. But when you do see it, you're, you're kind of concerned. Otherwise, perfectly healthy guy. He's noticed for a year. It's been, it's been, uh, it's just been there. I decided to get it checked out today. Has it changed colors on you guys? Is it like changing colors or anything? Okay, so. So well, speaking Vietnamese there, he's a brother from another mother. Um, <laughs> but I was just asking him if it's been changing any colors. If That's definitely one of the signs of a melanoma is if it has been changing colors. Uh, like a lesion, a, a mole that you have on your body, you definitely want to get that checked out. Okay, so ABC is a melanoma, A asymmetry. If you have a mole, that's not like a let's perfectly circle and it's got really weird borders. It looks like a little island looking at it. Then yeah, definitely want to get that checked out by a dermatologist. B again, if the borders are irregular as well. If the borders are like, you know, nice and well-defined on one end, but then like a little blotchy on the other end, definitely want to get that checked out by a dermatologist. Man, what's going on today? What's C? C is color. Color. Yeah, if it changes colors on you, right? That's why I ask him if it's been changing colors on you. Like if it's brown one day and then like, you know, two weeks later, it's like. Uh, let's see what's underneath this nail here. It's hard to say. Did you ever hit it? You ever kick anything? 
don't know. You don't maybe, know. Maybe, maybe I play tennis and maybe tennis? I run and oh, maybe. the toes. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I call okay. after the zoo. Um, so let's get a closer inspection of this nail bed and see if there's anything underneath there. Hmm. Is that something there? Is it? That's black, black, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna get a little big nail bob, see of that, okay? We're always a little concerning what's in the skin. Sometimes, um, sometimes when you damage your nail like a subungo hematoma the, the blood dries up and it just sticks onto the nail and you take the nail off and you're like oh okay you got a clean nail bed but it's actually in the skin here so that's a little concerning so we're doing a little biopsy punch biopsy well it's like a little little hole punch literally just shove it into the skin and it takes a piece of the skin out Okay, we'll send the results out. So that's what it looks like when we take a whole punch of the skin right there. So we're gonna send this out. Hopefully, like I said, it's nothing. Uh, the other things, D, there's also a D with the ABCs of, you know, um, melanoma, D is diameter, so you know, like if it goes from really small to like really big, or if you like have like a big mole on your body that kind of sort of came out of nowhere, you definitely want to get that checked out as well. Okay. Strictly speaking, a lot of patients in the African American population will have like that pigmented streaking, uh, but not that dark. You'll see it on multiple nails. Um, so if you see it on one nail, and especially if you're not in the um, Afro-American, darker, pigmented population. Yeah, you're definitely a little bit concerned. We'll come back in two weeks. We'll check on the results, okay, Ann? Yeah. It's two weeks later. We got the results of the biopsy, and we have good news. Nothing bad. Everything good. I was going to call you yesterday. I was going to call you yesterday, but I saw you, you were coming in. I was like, okay, we're just... Uh, share the news at the same time too. So if we look at the diagnosis, remember we took a biopsy of the nail and biopsy of the skin, negative for malignant melanoma. So that's great. And the other thing that we're worried about, uh, also melanoma in the nail, Fontana, Mason, stain fails to demonstrate melanin pigments. The only thing he has is fungus. So yeah, fungus, that's, that's actually a really good thing. I'm very happy that it's nothing bad. Let's see how it's healing. It's actually healing really well, okay. So we'll expect the nail to grow back within about three to six months, but nothing else to worry about except the fungus. So we'll discuss that, okay? But yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. See you guys next time.